Hey guys, Spider here, and I'm continuing my look at the War Z, a zombie-based MMO that uh, will be in alpha this coming Monday, um, October 15th. Now, I actually have confirmed, unfortunately, that uh, alpha footage, uh, we have an NDA, so non-disclosure agreement, I guess, for the alpha of this game until October 31st, that uh, we can't show footage. I am trying to... Uh, get in contact with some people to see if we can get you some footage, and maybe it's just, you know, a limited amount of footage or uh, footage of some specific things, I don't know. I mean, obviously, they don't want, you know, the, the alpha bugs and etc. to be propagated on the internet, and I'm, I'm okay with that, although I, I, <laughs> I don't know, it only helps to promote the game, right? But regardless... We'll see if I, if I can get anything for you guys before October 31st. If not, then I guess we wait until October 31st. But I'm going to continue my discussion and continue from this fact that I was going on in that last video. And I will just um, uh, cover, I guess, some of the comments. And I know some people are, like, comparing it to DayZ. And obviously there's comparisons there. And, you know, how one may be a ripoff of the other or, or there are elements of one in, in another. And, you know, I, I just got to say, honestly... I, it's not my job here to um, say that a game is copying another game. I mean, there are many elements that exist in COD, that exist in Battlefield, that exist in plenty of other first-person shooters. Um, you know, the MMO has been around for a while. Is it such a stretch that, oh, you know, some people have thought about a, a zombie-based MMO? And if you look at the timing, really, the timing between when Daisy, I know it's been around for a while, but even, you know, when it actually got popular... And the development cycles of these games, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if the no, the dates actually jive. And uh, obviously, the guys over at uh, at Warzy have have indicated, yeah, there's elements that uh, that they've incorporated that DayZ has incorporated, and that's just gaming, and that's the way it is. Um, you know, if, if you couldn't uh, imitate elements from other games in any game, any new game, I mean, we wouldn't have these new games. We wouldn't have the progression of games that, that we have. And, um, you know, and, and you got to be careful, too, when you say one game copies another. And, and I, I just use the example of Minecraft. I mean, people complain about other games that kind of build on Minecraft. And, and one comes to mind, like a, a Guncraft or a Fortress Craft and, and, and those things. And, and people harp on them saying, well, you're just copying off of Minecraft, yet Minecraft was based on, you know, elements of a game before it. So it's really hard to judge in this day and age. So let's keep just keep an open mind. And, you know, there are going to be elements from a lot of games that that are uh, inter interweaved with elements from other games, right? So it's, I don't know, Is I just want to say that. I know it's not very clear how I brought that out, but whatever. Let's just keep an open mind. I'm going to continue on with this fact. All right, so there's some specific questions here. How many guns can I have on me ready for action? We well, can have two hot spots. The first spot may hold an assault rifle, grenade launcher, sniper, crossbow, and other weapons considered to be the main, while the secondary slot can include handguns, possibly Uzis, revolvers, and melee weapons. You can also have your inventory filled with other weapons ready to replace your current hotspots with other arsenal. Uh, I heard you're making this game in only a year. Isn't that a very short period of time for the scale you're building? So again, look at the time frame uh, of, those, of these games. Um, normally, MMORPGs can take over five years to create, but not to worry. We've been preparing the creation of the War Z for years, and we are using a pre-existing game engine called Eclipse, which is being modified to suit this game better and has been previously tested by millions of players worldwide with satisfying results. The majority of work we had to execute includes characters, art, animations, territory, and other second category subjects, which is not all that time-consuming compared to starting with a game engine from scratch. Now, they, they talk about here DayZ or the War Z. So which came first, DayZ or the War Z? Uh, the War Z has been in preparation for a very long time, involving us at Hammerpoint tossing around ideas regarding the concept of a zombie MMORPG. But undoubtedly, the success of DayZ was an immense sign to us that a, that a post-apocalyptic zombie MMORPG was the right way to go. Uh, how do I get infected? What happens if I don't get a cure? Do I get to play as a zombie? Uh, you have a small chance of being bit by zombies as they attack you, and if you don't get a cure in time, your character will simply die. Uh, I guess you don't turn into a zombie, but that that would be kind of difficult to incorporate. Uh, what happens if I die? Well, the War Z offers two separate difficulties, if you will. One's named Hardcore, where if your character dies, he or she dies forever. 
Uh, the other is called Normal, which only lock you actually get locked out of the game for a bit. So it locks out your character and your gear if you manage to die for about 24 to 48 hours, and that's not finalized. You can continue with the same character instantly if you buy a revive item for the gold store or create new adventures with other, with other characters as you wait, as they will not be locked out until they die as well. Uh, this can be accomplished either on the same account or a different one with a limit to five characters per account. Uh, will there be vehicles and can I put them in my backpack? <laughs> yes and no. Currently, there's only confirmation of cars and, and you cannot transfer vehicles between servers. And I would hazard to guess that you can't put a car in your backpack. Uh, where are all the gameplay trailer videos? Patience. The game is currently in alpha, which means any aspect can change at any time, which makes gameplay footage rather obsolete. Now, I will m mention one thing. I mean, yes, they are looking at people purchasing in to play in the alpha, but the choice is there for you, okay? I mean, if you say, well, they're, you know, they're asking us to pay without actually seeing any gameplay footage or whatever... That's fine. Then don't pay, right? If you want to wait until you see the actual gameplay, wait until after October 31st, and, and we'll be posting gameplay in here as well. Um, wait and make your decision then. It's up to you. The choice is up to you, right? There's always a choice in these things. Uh, does this game have voiceover IP? Right now it's unclear and pointing towards a no, but it's definitely a feature many users want to see. Can I run inside any building I want? Uh, as of n now, no. However... Much points to that a majority of them can be explored, and Hammerpoint have stated that this number will expand in time. So, you know, again, they're they're building this up as as they go here. When can I pre-order? Uh, well, we already know that. Are zombies fast like in DayZ? No, they're described as classical slow zombies, and they go from roaming to limping as they try to run. And I can tell you, <laughs> man, those freaking zombies in DayZ, they are hard to get away from. If you get zombies chasing you, you don't have ammo, uh... I'm sure a lot of you have actually just disconnected from servers because of that with zombies behind you. Um, how do zombies detect you? According to an interview, they can both hear, smell, and see you. How is day and night handled in the game? The day and night cycle is greatly increased in speed, so players can experience both day and night without having to break their normal routines. Um, I want to be a bad guy. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What consequences will this have? Well, for starters, most players will shoot you on site as you achieve the bandit status, and certain settlements will not let you in. Some might even be hostile towards you, which means a much tougher experience. So it looks like uh, people may not want to be bad guys in this game. Can I run across the map nonstop like in DayZ? No, there will be a cooldown system in place to prevent this, and you can also train yourself P90X, right, physically, and run longer, but not to that extent. Uh, what gun controls can be expected from the game? The closest comparison we have right now is a mix of War Inc. and Battlefield 3. Can I buy this game on Steam? It's a routine for us to have our products in Steam, but there are no definite guarantees of that happening right now. All right, so here's... And, and this is more about Daisy. And this is not me. This is off this fact, okay? Why should I play this game instead of DayZ? Or in addition to... Okay, let's put it that way. Why should I play this game in addition to DayZ, for instance? Uh, it's a common. This is a common, very yet uh, difficult question. And let's see. First off, Daisy is built. In, oh man, I don't really want to start any sort of wars, but whatever. It's this is just written off or read off of here. So, uh, first off, Daisy is built upon a military simulator, Armor 2, that uses the real virtuality engine. Not a bad choice, but this engine has next to no support for AI, while packing huge performance issues to the point the servers are causing. Uh, FPS restrictions. Sure, this may be overlooked with a vast amount of expensive servers and super gaming computers, but in the end, the mod will never really see a completely working release due to the limits with this platform because it was not built for this kind of gameplay, and a mod simply can't replace it from the ground up. Uh, the creators of DayZ themselves have already foreseen this, which is why um, they've discussed a, a DayZ standalone game in association with Bohemia, and they're expecting to have it out this fall. Uh, for a standalone game, this can be both good and bad. The good is that they're going to receive funding and more manpower to develop, the begin to develop the game. The bad is that shortcuts will be taken in order to get an alpha of the game out as quickly as possible and continue to build it as they go according to the Minecraft method. Uh, Rocket, the creator and project leader of DayZ, has stated that one of these shortcuts is that they will yet again use the real virtuality engine which is present in both Armor 2 and the upcoming Armor 3, which will mean that they will need to f face the same problems they've done in the mod with general AI, AI pathfinding, performance issues, FPS limitations, 
and uh, latency reaction times and so on. And not only that, uh, will that take its due toll on time, but there's also the step from modding a game to building a full-blown standalone title. More freedom means more experimentation, means more testing, means more time. So having a release within a year is uh, possibly wishful thinking, unless that release is severely uh, unfinished. So again, I'm just... I. This is not my opinion. This is just off of the fact, and you know, take it for what it's worth. The link is in the description. Do I get to be a knight in shining Kevlar? Uh, there will be protective gear for your character to wear if you manage to find some. They are considered to be relatively rare, as the marketplace only sells low-quality pieces, and the current things you can expect at release are vests, helmets, and hats, which will reduce the amount of beating your um, health bar. What? Oh, which will reduce the amount of beating your health bar gets. Okay. May I dress up my characters in pretty outfits and smear them with makeup? Um, character customization has been confirmed to be in the game in the form of pre-existing faces you can choose from, along with a variety of different clothing pieces. More sophisticated, customizable facial features uh, will be added at a later date. Can I accompany all this by creating a kick-ass dollhouse for me and my friends? Uh... Possibly, yes. This can be done, or this may be done in a variety of ways, including taking over existing towns, settlements, and even building your very own from scratch. Uh, details about this, though, are yet to be revealed. Can I create a f can I create a female character just to stare at her boobs? You may, but the War Z will not officially feature any nudity. Perhaps in the future. Uh, what does the HUD look like? And I think I'm show I showed a couple images as we went here uh, of the hub. There's going to be a health points meter along with indications to your visibility, uh, smell, sound, zombies primary method for finding you in sight, uh, or SSS for short, and most likely a stamina meter as well, which will indicate how much you can run and how much you can swing a melee weapon. But this is unconfirmed. Uh, is it possible for me to butcher wild animals and grow crops for food? Not to be, uh, not on release, but it may be added in the future. Can I shoot a zombie in the foot a couple of times for him to die? Uh, no. To ultimately kill a zombie, you must destroy its head. This can be done several ways, mainly riddling it with bullets and bashing it in with melee weapons, uh, but explosions are expected to work as well. If all else fails, burning them has been confirmed to be a method. Will there be any kind of randomness in the game? Well, ultimately, anything can happen in the War Z because it's a player-driven game, but Hammerpoint has prepared a few random events such as sudden plane crashes which is to be expected in a post-apocalyptic world. These may lead to unique quests and loot. Ah, okay, this is getting weird. Can I catch some bullets with my teeth, duck behind cover for a few seconds, and go right back into the action, all fine and dandy? No. The War Z will not feature any kind of auto-regen for your health. If you sustain damage, either from players or zombies, you'll need to apply medical attention to the injuries you sustain in order to get back in shape. The medical system is currently being expanded to simulate the experience from Metal Gear Solid 3, which means several different kinds of injuries and tools to mend your body with, all having heavy aspects on realism. Uh, is this game going to be coming on console anytime? Uh, it's being looked at, however, it's not uh, currently in a development focus. But the game does support Xbox 360 controllers on your PS3, so that's kind of interesting. Is it possible to pick up a nearby M249 and put holes in everything that moves for hours? Well, while certainly it is, uh, ammo is very rare in this game, to the point that you'll find more weapons than bullets, so it's not an advisable course of action, though you can still do so if you have the appropriate amount of ammo. Uh, how may I talk with others? Currently, there are four different text-based channels you can communicate through. Uh, global chat, proximity chat, friends chat, and clan chat. More may be added uh, after release, including voice over IP. Do I get to magically have all bullets in the ammo clips I throw on the ground appear in my backpack? No. When you reload with bullets still in the clip, the clip you dropped will be on the floor for you or others to pick up. Is there anywhere I may hide and suck on my thumb for the duration I play the game in safety? Well, yes and no. While there are pre-spawn safe zones that have been inhabited by NPCs with guards patrolling, you and these settlements can still be raided by enemy, enemy players and possibly zombies at any given moment, leaving no real safe place to be found in the War Z. However, there will most likely be places that can only be accessed by ladders, which will technically be zombie-free zones, since the infected cannot climb ladders, only stairs. Um, will the cities still be lit up by streetlights and such? Holy crap, this is getting long. This is going to be a long video. 
No, the stories follow that the epidemic hit over five years ago, which means all general utilities such as electricity, water, and gas have been either depleted or out of service for a very long time, except for the NPC player settlements, which will be self-sufficient. I'm not sure how the uh, random play cr plane crashes work into that. Some will even feature computers, XM, XM radios, and TV. You may also expect GPS systems to function since zombies have not reached space yet. <laughs> How do I know if someone's friendly or not? Well, you never really know in these kinds of games, but you may add other players to your friends list, which will create a small icon over their head as you see them. Is it a good idea to kill everyone I see for a prolonged period of time? In the long term, no. Be notorious enough, and you'll end up on the most wanted list with an extremely high bounty for other players to ruthlessly hunt you down and cash in on. Hello, GTA? <laughs> You'll also be restricted from entering and even approaching normal settlements to trade without being shot by both players and NPCs, thus severely hampering your abilities to conduct business since there will only be one bandit outpost in the entire Colorado where you'll be able to buy and sell goods. Do I get to pick where my character spawns? Uh, after you've created your character for the first time, you can select an area where to spawn at and go wherever you want from there. If you want to play another server, your character will be logged out from the server you left and reappeared in the exact same spot where your location was in the other server. This is called the uniform between servers, and it will be true for all official servers you find. Uh, what mods will there be for my gun? Uh, tons. There are accessories that change the weapon's hard stats, like foregrips, which can help reduce recoil and silencers for less noise, but more bullet drop and cosmetic stats, like tactical flashlights, which will, will illuminate the area where your gun is pointing. More information will be shared uh, closer to release. How much control do I have after my death? Well, quite a bit. Not only can you uh, presumably instantly respawn with special gold purchase items with a relative proximity to where you died, but you can also arrange booby traps to be placed in your backpack. Now, that's cool. <laughs> uh, there are other choices you can make as well, such as running into an exposed area or a building full of zombies before dying to make it more tricky for your assaulter to ravage your soon-to-be corpse. So, And that's assuming that a yeah, human is after you. What's the risk of hack hackers? Hackers, hackers, hacksaws, whatever. Like any online game, the chance will always be there, but since the game is hosted exclusively, exclusively on their servers, it will be next to impossible to have anything that isn't client-side, which means wall hacks will probably be the only script kitty hack you'll encounter, and we're taking several measures to prevent that as well. Will I ab be able to bunny hop just like in Counter-Strike? Uh, while you can jump in the war seat, it's unlikely that the realism factors will allow any extensive maneuvering um, or acceleration of speed during jumps since it will almost certainly drain your stamina as well. Uh, do all characters on my account share their reputation and skills? No, that's just silly. Am I screwed if I live in Australia or around the Oceanic? Well, that depends. If we see any significant traffic from there, servers will be added accordingly directly in your region. Uh, will I be able to pillage me some gold from other players? Directly, no. However, you can loot the items they purchase for gold if they are located in their backpacks during death. Uh, can, <laughs> can I start the game with an RPG? No. You'll spawn with a map and possibly some minor basic supplies and a weapon in hardcore mode. It's also taken for granted to, that you'll get a starter backpack to keep your items in as well. <clears throat> so you said something about reputation. Explain. Well, reputation and alignments will be calculated through a numeric system, which will add or subtract values according to your actions in-game. Simply put, if you kill someone with a bad reputation, you get a good reputation. You kill someone whose reputation is better or equal to yours, and you will gain bad reputation. Um, can I go to call? <laughs> I like this. Can I go to over to Colorado and memorize all the terrain for an advantage in-game? Uh, while you're free to do so, it's kind of a silly question, uh, it won't give any hard advantages because the map Colorado in the War Z is only based loosely upon the nature in the original Colorado. I had people disconnect in DayZ seconds before they died um, during an encounter, I guess. Will this be an issue in the War Z? No. While they may terminate their War Z progress, their character will still remain inside the game for a set period of time before being automatically disconnected if they are not logged off properly through a cooldown, much like other MMOs. Bravo on that, I must say. Bravo. Will I have to hold down control while camping, or is there a prone mode? Uh, it's something that's being planned to be added into the game and should be ready for closed beta, but we'll see. 
I pretty much only saw male zombies in the screenshots. Are there any female Zs? Yes, there will be. There's a lot of talk about ladder exploits where you can simply run into a city, climb up a ladder, and then log out. How are you planning to counter this? Uh, nothing solid is planned to prevent situations like these as of right now because it doesn't really benefit to logging out above a ladder because you'd still be surrounded by zombies when you log back in, even on other, other servers since it's in a city. Um, should I up update my DirectX for this game? Uh, never hurts, but uh, it will only support DX9 at its release, so unless you haven't played games in a long time, that won't be necessary. There are, however, plans for adding DX11 support, but it's not a priority at the moment. Uh, should I expect any kind of glitchy zombie movement since the engine is from War Inc.? No, the War Z's animations are all brand new. I had very painful experiences trying to play with my friends in DayZ due to all the different servers, broken browsers, and the lack of map information. Will this be the case in War Z? As the primary focus of the War Z is to build experiences with other people, Hammerpoint have included a group system where you can team up with a bunch of friends, join a server, and have everyone spawn in the same place. There are also clans, groups, and other social networking measures to be found as described above. Uh, will I be able to keep my character and all his or her stuff after the closed beta? Yes, it's been confirmed that Hammerpoint Studios do not have any planned wipes for beta participants as the game is released. However, since the game will be in beta, there is a possibility of game-breaking game breaking bugs, which may essentially require a wipe whether they like it or not. Who gets into the closed beta first? Both giveaway winners and people who purchase the game will be granted access to the beta simultaneously. How are the elements of blood loss handled? Uh, players will bleed according to the injuries they've sustained, be it a few drops from a minor cut or huge waves from, uh, from being shot with a high-caliber rifle. These effects can be neutralized by treating the wounds, um, leaving the choice to first aid in combat or during a retreat to have tactical significance in the game. And last, lastly, will there be physics for items in the game? Guns, ammo clips, and other relatively small objects will all have realistic physics applied to them. Woo! Okay, sorry about that. There's quite a bit more here than, than I thought. Um, otherwise, I would have had more. I would have covered more in that first video. So again, this is just present. This is just to present you with information. Okay, and uh, you know, if you want to wait for uh, footage, that's cool. If you want to get in on the alpha, that's cool too. If you refer to the previous video, um, I talked about uh, the methods and, and costs associated with uh, taking part in the alpha that starts on the 15th. And um, if you want to wait until October 31st and actually see some gameplay, etc., uh, of the game in full release, then wait until then. Wait until then. There's no nobody pushing you or, or breaking your arm in order to uh, to go and, uh, and try out the game in alpha. But I know I'll be in there, and I will try and give you... Whatever information I can, um, assuming I can give you anything at all due to the non-disclosure agreement. So we'll see. Anyways, and I'm sure people are going to leak uh, footage anyway, but I won't do that. Sorry. That's it. That's all. I'm Spider and I'm out.